Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we'll be looking at Portal Stones by Forbidden Soul. Now, this is an amazing portal plugin that allows you to create portal networks that go from one portal to another to another and to many, many more. So, it's very easy to set up, but before we get started, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of this little network here. So, these portals are all connected to each other. So, for example, if I go into the blue one, I will go into the yellow and from yellow I will go to green and green will go to the red portal and red will go back to the beginning to the blue one. It's kind of like a bus network. If you get on the bus you can go to different stops and get off when you want. So that is pretty much how it works. It's very easy to set up. But first of all we're going to destroy this network by destroying the portals within uh, these nice frames that I've created. How do we create new portals? Well first of all we need to grab some flint and steel and 14 obsidian blocks and just right click inside and create a portal as normal so this will go to the nether currently but when we uh, edit it it will go anywhere we want so let's just light all of these and go over to the chest again so what we need is a piece of redstone now with this we can create a portal stone so there's three different ways of getting portal stones there's putting a piece of redstone into a crafting bench there is throwing a piece of redstone into a portal and if we look at it now, it will say a portal stone that's unbound. And the th final way of getting a portal stone is by smashing redstone ore. And you will have a 1 in 16 chance of getting a portal stone from this. You can change the odds in the config file. I changed it to 1 in 2. So it's a very, very high chance of getting one. Uh, but let's get rid of these. We only need one to create our little network. So once you've got a portal stone, we need to bind it to, to some portals. So the way you do that, you run up to a portal and throw it in, and it should bounce out, and it will say bound to portals 1. Now this portal will not go anywhere because it's bound to itself, it will just throw us out. So we need to pick another portal, let's pick red, and throw it in there. It will bounce out, and then it will say it's bound to two portals. So now we have two decisions. We can either throw it in another portal and add a third portal to the network, or we can throw it in one of the previous two portals and save the network. So that's what I'm going to do. So throw it in the red one again and that will make the item disappear and the network is saved. So it goes from blue to red and back to blue again. So it's a very small network, um, but there you go. So as you can see, we went from the blue one to the red one. If we go in red, we will go back to blue like that. Very straightforward. And I read on the Spigot page that you can also use this to transport items. Uh, which sounds pretty cool. So maybe if I grab some sand here and throw it throw it in here and then look over here, we should be able to see it. There it is. So if you have a factory, an automatic factory creating items, maybe you could have the items go into the portal and then out somewhere else, um, the warehouse or wherever you store the items. So there's loads of different uses for this. Now let's have a look at the portal stones folder. So there are a few files in here. There is a default config file. And this is how your config file will look when you first download the plugin. However, if you want to change anything, you need to go into the config.yml. So in here, I was messing around a bit. I changed the drop chance from 1 in 16 to 1 in 2 for the video. So it was very, very easy to get a portal stone. I'd recommend setting it a bit higher to maybe 1 in 30, 1 in 40, or even 50. Just to make it a bit more difficult for your players to be able to get a portal stone. But down here, we have two other methods which I mentioned in-game. To be able to get a portal stone so crafting it in a crafting bench using one piece of redstone and throwing a piece of redstone into a portal will create a portal stone as i showed you so you can set these to true or false depending on whether you want that option available and up at the top you have the option of different languages so english german and french depending on which one you prefer so that is the config file it's very small but these options are very useful um, so let's just close out of that if you want to download the plugin, of course the links are in the description as always. If you want the best and cheapest servers to run this plugin on, as well as others, check out the links down below, serverminer.com. And if you want to check out my channel, that will be there as well. But that is it for me. I will see you next week with another awesome video tutorial. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.